We're also following the skyrocketing violence involving young people here in Baltimore. Just in the last day, three teenagers have been shot. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at City Police Headquarters with reaction from heartbroken communities across Baltimore. Mike. Nikki Stefan, one of those teenagers, was pronounced dead at Johns Hopkins Hospital yesterday. Overall, the number of homicides that are solved or cleared is just 13% for the year in Baltimore City. That's more than four times below the national average. In the span of 10 minutes last night, an 18 year old was shot and killed here near Bartlett and Homewood Avenues in East Baltimore, and a 16 year old was shot and survived in West Baltimore. It's just terrible. Vanzella Shaw lives in the community where the 18 year old was gunned down, where we saw police investigators collecting evidence today for heartbreaks for the victim's family. The people that do the crimes don't think about how their loved one would feel if they were gone, if somebody took their life. And it's like, why, why would you want your family to go through what other families are going through? Shaw sees the pain every day. She works two jobs at a hospital and a funeral home and recently lost a young relative. He just turned 21 and he's gone now, you know, um, just because of whatever. I want, I want what he had. What's in your heart when you think about all these young people getting shot, some of them killed? As a mom, it's in my heart for, for me to ache. A mother who lives in the community asked us not to identify her, but says her kids don't feel safe. These young kids are dying, and it's just ridiculous. You want to grow up in a nice neighborhood where you feel like your kids are safe, and nobody is safe nowadays. There's too many kids dying. A third teenager was shot yesterday here in the 1900 block of McCullough Street, a 14-year-old girl. Police took a juvenile into custody in that case. That's the biggest thing that is really we've struggled with as a city is a lot of young men and women are being shot in their, in their streets. At a city council hearing last week, police said juvenile homicides have increased 67% over this time last year. Juvenile shootings are up 55%. They're not valuing life at all today. Not at all. And they should. And we also have an update tonight on the 17-year-old who was shot by police in southwest Baltimore last week. Police say they will be releasing the officer's body-worn camera video tomorrow afternoon here at headquarters. For now, we're live downtown. Mike Helgren, WJZ.